Guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Donna K. Delahaye from the blog of Delahaye.com and today I'm in Bruges, Belgium. <laughs> Today we're going to explore some of the top things to do in Bruges if you only have one day to spend in the city. Um, so we're going to eat waffles, we're going to have chocolate and we're going to see the Belfry. Some of the top things that you have to do when you're in the city. So guys, I promise you waffles. This is Kat. I promise you waffle. Look at this juicy, juicy waffle. Yummy. Um, we're got, we tried it. This was recommended by our tour guide as being one of the best waffle stands um, in the area. So I've, I will put the name down, but just look at this deliciousness. How lush is this? So guys, taste this. Mm. I want to break just a, and can't forget to dunk some of the chocolate. This is really good. It was only 650 for this waffle with these um, strawberries and chocolate. And it's freshly made. So you know you're getting the good stuff, guys. So guys, another place to visit when you're in Bruges is the Gert Mark or the Market Square. And here you'll find the Belfry. You'll also find the information for tourists, tourist information. And the iconic, behind me, the iconic um, kind of symbol or houses that people expect when they're visiting Bruges. Belfry is another thing to see when you're in Bruges. It is 43 meters high and has 47 bells to warn off dangers and to tell time. It was once used as a fortress. You can ascend to the top of the Belfry, but it has like 360 stairs that you have to climb. It's quite narrow and I would recommend going in the morning when it's just open because it does get crowded, especially at midday. So bear that in mind when you're um, visiting and now it's going off behind me. <laughs> guys basically we're at the Halfman brewery in Bruges and it's the only brewery in the city and basically why it's still standing is it has a um, 12 mile pipe from the brewery to the bottling facility which was crowdfunded by the locals and you can go online and and see who actually donated the funds to help this brewery still stand in the city center we're going to basically do the thing that we came here for some beer tasting let's go Guys, we're in the Half Moon Brewery and now I'm drinking the Bruges Zot beer. It's basically the Bruges Blonde and it's quite light, it's quite tasty. I'm not a big beer drinker, but this is quite delicious. So cheers! Guys, we know that Bruges is famous for its chocolate, but if you want authentic Bruges chocolate, always look out for this plaque. It shows that the stores with this plaque, basically all the chocolates are made in Bruges. So just behind me is the smallest bridge in Bruges and if you look you can see the cathedral there and that's the one with the um, Mary and baby Jesus, the statue there but it's really beautiful. I think the best opportunity to get the iconic photo of, on this bridge is like 6 in the morning because it's like it's so tiny it's just packed. So 
right behind me is like one of the most photogenic spots in Bruges so if you're coming and you want to get that idyllic postcard photo of Bruges definitely check out this spot behind me One of the things that you can do when you're in Bruges is a canal tour and as you can see the canal right behind me I just finished my tour loads of stuff that you'll see on your your canal tour you can see the belfry tower from the from the canals and it's basically a different perspective of seeing um, Bruges so definitely check out the canal tour when you come to Bruges 